Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my January favorites, um, just all the stuff I've been loving this month, makeup, skincare, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys all of it and I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I think that's it. Yeah, so let's just get started with the video. So if there's a shadow behind me, I'm so sorry. I don't have a backdrop yet. It's coming, it's on its way. It's just got lost in the mail somewhere, I don't know. But we're just gonna start off with, I think, skin products, I guess. So the first thing I have to talk about was in my last video, the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation. It has easily become my new favorite foundation, like, ever. And even though I only used it, like, later this month, I've been wearing it like every day ever since I started using it. So it's definitely one of my January favorites. I love this foundation. It's so full coverage. It stays on for like 20 million years. I've been wearing it on my face right now for literally like 12 hours and it still looks like this. I don't know how they did it, but NARS did well this month and this is such a great foundation. I'll list all the products and stuff down below that I'm talking about, by the way. And yeah, so this is definitely my favorite foundation. A concealer I want to talk about this month, I honestly used this concealer for like a while and then I stopped using this concealer when I like found Shape Tape, but then Shape Tape wasn't doing me as good as this concealer, so ever since I stopped using Shape Tape, which is like not too long ago, I've just been using this concealer and I forgot how good this concealer is. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Oh my god, I love this concealer. First of all, I love the brush so much better than the um, Tarte one. I feel like the Tarte one is way too big. Like, I feel like I need to be more precise when I'm doing it down my nose. You know, all of that. And this one's just so much better. Um, and I don't need to go through a hassle to get it from Tarte or whatever. I mean, from, yeah, from the Tarte website to get it. I can get this one from Sephora. Um, it is a little, it is like a little pricier, but like, I think it's more worth it. And there's a lot of product in it. And I love this concealer. It goes so well with the NARS foundation. It goes so well with this foundation too, like the two together. Magic. So that's been my favorite concealer this month. So next, okay, this didn't come out like this month or anything, but this has been one of my favorite highlighters that I've been mixing with my highlight in general, like all the time. I'm not wearing it today, but when I do mix this, oh my God. This is um, Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. <sighs> I love this highlighter. I just mix it a little bit with, I dented it, but um, I just mix a little bit of this with my, um, with like my regular highlighter. I just put a little bit on top, like right in the center and <laughs> girlfriend, my highlighter always popping. And I wonder why it's cause of this. Like on New Year's, I like tried it with like a different like what I was like I tried like layering it and it just looked so good and ever since then I don't know January was just the the month for trophy wife I never used this before because like, of the whole like I didn't think it like looked good on my complexion but like this has been a winner this month so yeah so next I'm gonna talk about a general palette this is the NARS Bord de Plage palette I recently started using this like middle of the month and it's just this palette right here. It has the Laguna bronzer in it. It has a bunch of highlighting shades. It has like a darker bronzer in it. And I seriously love this palette. I think it's so nice. And it has so many different shades for um, highlighters. And it has like a lighter and a darker bronzer. I love this palette. I love the Laguna bronzer. It's like, oh my god, amazing. And do you just want to see these swatch? Look at this highlight. My god, it's literally such an amazing highlighter. All of them. Oh, so nice. But I've been really loving this palette. I just think it's so nice. I'm wearing it right now, but like I look oily right now because this has been on for like 12 hours. But this is such a great palette and I've been really, really using it a lot more. Like I don't even use like single bronzers or like highlighters anymore. I mostly just use this and I mix it with my trophy wife. Home girl. So. This has been a fave. I don't know if they still have it at Sephora. If I find it, I'll link it down below. But I'm not sure if this was limited time only, but in general, I just like the Laguna bronzer and the highlighters are called Clique and Gala. Those are the two ones that I mix and so nice. Let's move on to, oh, 
As far as face goes, um, a new favorite is the Tarte Quickie Sponge. I think this is called. It's really dirty. Don't mind that. But um, I love this flat top right here, like for carving out my contour, all that ish. I love this sponge. I think it's so nice and so good for applying your foundation. I've just been really loving it and using it all the time. Like I actually love this sponge so much, and it's so much like um, squishier than the original Beauty Blender. I think this is so much better than the original one, and it's pretty much it's actually it is cheaper yeah but you can only get it from Ulta I think and the Tarte website which is like a problem but like it's okay I'll just order it from the Tarte website but yeah I've been really really loving the sponge and I think it works wonders okay so the next thing I want to talk about is a brush this is the Urban Decay optical blurring foundation brush it just looks like this this is such an amazing foundation brush I like it better than the Morphe M439 brush, I think that's what it's called. This one's a lot more expensive though, which is like a downside, even though the other Morphe brush is still so good. But I just like this one so much better, like my skin just looks like flawless, like a blank canvas on my face. Like, and it doesn't leave any like, like um, what is it called? When there's uh, streaks, 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 yeah. It doesn't leave any foundation streaks on my face. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But um, I love this brush. I don't know if they still sell it because I got this a few years ago. I stopped using it for like a few years because I was just into beauty blenders. Not a few years, like a, week, a year to beauty blenders. And then I recently went back to this and oh my god, like this and the Tarte sponge are the only two things I use for my foundation. And honestly, sometimes I also use this to like blend out like my highlight, like, I mean, not my highlight, my concealer like here and here and here and it works so but I love this. I think it's so good and so worth the money. This has lasted me like three years and it's still like perfect, perfect condition. I mean, it's dirty because I just used it like 12 hours ago. But um, I really, really like this brush and I love how like small it is and like, you know, it's like tapered and stuff and I love it. I feel like it's so much more precise than the Morphe one. But yeah, so I have one lash fave this weekend at uh, this weekend <laughs> this year this month what am i saying? this january it's 12 a.m i'm too tired for this um so this is the um i'm talking about eyelashes am i not yes i am so these are the luxie lashes by lily lashes they just look like this these are a brand new pair that i just ordered i got them in the sephora um collab thing that came with the miami lashes too and i have been wearing these non-stop like the only lashes i wear i love these lashes i think they're so nice and <laughs> just so beautiful like just look at these you can't even see them all i love these lashes i love how they're like this at the front like shorter at the front and then they flare out i love that about these lashes and i ordered these from a website called count on us which is like an um, is a canadian website but they sell lily lashes so if you're canadian and you don't want to pay that customs i found a website for you um but yeah i just really love these lashes and i'm probably gonna order like 20 pair and more pairs because like these are the only lashes i wear but i love 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 these lashes the product is the fenty gloss in the shade fenty glow this is the nicest lip gloss ever actually i'm gonna put some on this is the nicest lip gloss I top this with the Anastasia lipstick and it looks so good. It makes, honestly, even when I wear it alone like this, it just looks so good. It makes your lips so glossy. Like, I love that. I don't even really like matte lipsticks. Like, I just wear gloss. Riri, you doing good, boo. Last but not least for makeup, I'm gonna talk about this palette right here. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Um, honestly, I use this a lot just the shimmers in this are i don't really use the matte but these shimmers in this are just amazing i use this in my new year's eve look and i use this like also on like regular new year's eve i use the palette and oh my god this color the one i used in my video is just so nice this one um famous rich girl oh my god these are just all like such nice pretty let me do some swatches pretty shimmers they're so pigmented so buttery oh my god i don't even use fix plus with these they literally look like oh my god i just i love this palette and i love the mirror in it love this palette i'll link it down below if 
you guys want to get it. But I use this, like, the shimmers in here are like my, like you can, like there's all the shimmers you would ever need in this palette. Like, I just love it. I think this is such a great palette. Although it doesn't really have mattes in it. Hon honestly, it has essential mattes, like a brown, a lighter brown, a white, and a black. What else do you need, you know? Love this palette. Definitely a fave. Moving on to skin care products. Um, I'm gonna talk about a few products. Some of them I've been using for like a while-ish, but some of them I just recently started using. So the first one is the Ole Henriksen Oil Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. So Desi Birkins talked about this in her video and I recently, not recently, like a week and a half ago, I went and picked it up at Sephora. This is the small one because they were sold out of like the big size So I got it in like the, the little package with like the three two other products in it, but this got rid I was breaking out so bad at this saved it like my acne is Pretty much almost gone. I don't really get breakouts anymore like this keeps my face so clean I feel it kind of smells like minty Yeah, minty this has salicylic acid in it. So it will dry out your face a lot but I put this on only at night and oh my god, it just makes my acne go away and like literally overnight like it does wonders for my face and I love this product so much. I'm going to link it down below and hopefully they restock the full size soon because your girl needs a restock. But I've been loving this product so much. Next, we're going to talk about an Ole Henriksen, another one, another product. Um, they should just sponsor me, but I started using this at the beginning of the month. This is the Ole Henriksen uh, Banana Bright Eye Cream. This eye cream is fantastic. I have fine lines kind of under my eyes. Um, you can't see it on camera, but this is literally the best eye cream ever um it's so creamy yeah, this eye cream is just amazing like it's so hydrating on my eyes um it makes them so hydrated it brightens them so so much on my whole eye area and it just refreshes my under eyes like crazy and like it it feels thick but when you rub it in it feels like oh my god just, it's so like soothing on your eyes and it really has helped my fine lines so so much and the duration of my concealer under my eyes it has helped it so much like my under eye concealer doesn't crease as easily like it stays on longer um i love it under my makeup and i love this product in general even when i put it just under my eyes when i'm wearing no makeup it brightens my under eyes so much and i love it so next up is a fave from december slash january this is the Dr. Jart Sisapair Vitamin, wait, what is it? Tiger Grass Serum Derma Green Solution. I don't know what it's called, but it just looks like this. This is such a great serum. I've been using this for maybe like a month and a half. I like honestly throughout January, I was breaking out so bad. And this was like one of the only things that was helping my acne so much. Um, um, the only downfall to it is that you will like lose this like this product will only last me like a month And it's like pretty pricey, but I usually put like one pump like this Love it. The last thing I'm going to talk about is this Mario Badescu drying lotion. I got this on Christmas Eve and All throughout January. This is literally all I've been using as a spot treatment for my acne It has helped my acne so much looks like this and I got this from Urban Outfitters it was $21 which is like kind of pricey but um, I think it's worth it if there's still like this much product in it and apparently you're not supposed to shake it you're supposed to dip the q-tip and then get the product that's at the bottom and then dot it on your face I do this before I go to bed and I wake up and my pimple is just not there like it's just <laughs> I love Mario, man. Mario, you're just great. And it has a bunch of ingredients that I can't read, which is like kind of a problem, but like, you know what? It's okay, because it works. And I love this stuff. Mario always coming through. So I'm gonna talk about songs. I know like some people talk about songs in their favorites videos, so I'm gonna do it anyway, because I have a lot of jams that I've been listening to nowadays. 
But um, first, I'm gonna talk about. Okay, everyone's been listening to God's Plan. I really like that song. I think it's good, but like, I feel like it's so like overplayed now. But I like the song. It's pretty good. Another favorite has been not the Culture Two album, but like two songs in the Culture Two album. I wasn't impressed with it. I don't think it was that great, but like, I'll talk about it anyway. This song, Walk It, Talk It, is really good. Emoji, A Chain is really good. And White Sand is good, but other than that, not into it, man, Migos, like, they just can't compare to the first Culture, so Culture 2 was just like a flop because they just can't compare. Because every song on Culture was a banger, but every, like, not every song on Culture 2 was a banger. It, I wasn't really impressed, but those songs are pretty good. I've been also listening to Roy Woods non-stop. Every time we're in the car, me and my sister, I'll be listening to his Roy Woods. My favorite songs are Say Less, Take Time, Monday to Monday, oh my god, like the whole album, In the Club, and B-Town. Yeah, I love those songs. The whole Say Less album has been my jam this month. Like, I don't know what, I was listening to it before, but like now it's just even more. I love that album. Like. It's so good. Every song on that album is so good. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Roy Woods just doing it all. And I have a few, like, random songs that I've been really into. Um, one of them, oh, g Easy's new album, Fabulous. Um, I've been really loving this album. I've been really loving g Easy's album. My favorite song is, I think, Pray For Me or Him and I with Halsey. Um, I love this album, though, in general. Like, it's such a great album. g Easy comes out with, like, whenever g Easy comes out with music, it's just, like, magic. I love his music. I think it's so good. Party A Cardi. Love it. Finesse, Cardi B, and Bruno Mars. The song by... The song by Metro Boomin and Big Sean Go Legend. I love that song. Oh my god, I blast it all the time. But yeah, those are just like some music, some music stuff, songs, what? That I've been listening to this month. If you guys want to follow my Spotify, I'll link it down below. Whoa, I never like shouted on my Spotify because like I'm so basic with music. But like if you guys want to follow it, I have some playlists and yeah, that is it for my favorites this month. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And I think that's it. And I'm going to try to be more consistent with my uploading Mondays and Fridays. I am trying my best with school and everything. It's hard going to such a hard school because they just hate you there and just give you assignments all the time. But I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.